Hi, Gemini babies. Welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're returning or welcome if you're new. My name is Blue and this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. So make sure that you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video if it resonates with you um, and hit the notification bell because I will be doing free live readings, tip live readings, um, celebrity and crime tarot coming very, very soon. I think I'm going to film today um, a crime case. Not sure which one, but make sure that you guys are tuned in for that. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, I do have the information in the description box below <clears throat> for how you can reach me. All readings are 11, 11 in, at the current moment, and they will be emailed back to you the same day that they are purchased. All right. So Gemini, let's see what's coming out for you, uh, for love. Okay. All right, so the first card that we have here is look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Wow. Then we have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. And then a message for you. I'm thinking of you in this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Um, I'm actually about to throw this card out. I'm not going to lie. This is interesting, though, because this always gives the energy of, like, a deceased loved one, you know, a transitioned loved one or someone who was close that may, might, not, might not be as close anymore. But let me pull one more card in replace of that. But it's so weird because it just always comes out. I don't really understand why. One more card for Gemini. Okay. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. First of all, Gemini, I feel like somebody is very, very deeply in love with you. Or you could really, really have a lot of love for somebody else. Like, a lot of love. And I feel like this is genuine love. This is like love at its purest. This feels like the type of love where it's not even like puppy love. It's not like infatuation it's not love at first sight it's literally like i have seen you at your worst and i still love you like this feels like that type of love and this feels really good it just feels like you know someone would choose you no matter what and that's like real <laughs> it's the realest type of love that there is it's unconditional um but we have the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities so i also feel like you know Maybe you and your lover have gotten over some hard times or some challenging obstacles together. Uh, you guys could be going through a lot in your personal lives or just in your lives together. And it's like you're manifesting things that you want for each other moving forward um, for a month at the bottom of the deck. And I just feel like you are creating the life that you always kind of wanted for yourselves or, you know, you're, you're getting the vision now and you're working on creating that. This feels like really good energy. This feels like um, no matter what has happened, <laughs> like you guys are still moving forward. Because I love how we go from the past is now behind you and, you know, release it to manifesting. It's just like, okay, well, whatever happened back then, that's not none of my business. I also feel like some of you guys could have had like a... Um, Maybe a taboo or risque past. For some of you, maybe like you guys um, had a job that was a little bit, uh, like I said, taboo or, you know, and uh, some people didn't accept you for it or they made you feel a way about it. But I feel like your partner doesn't give a hell about like what you used to do or who you used to be or what your name was or how you showed up on social media or in the streets. It's just like, listen that's mine that's my man like <laughs> that's my woman i don't give a hell all right so let's see so we have the six of cups and the ace of cups come on energy six of cups and the ace of cups yeah so i feel like uh first of all some of you guys could have children some of you guys could be pregnant for sure look at that with the little baby and then a, a whole new ace of cups so some of you guys could be preparing for a new uh baby getting like a, a room together and you know getting all your baby stuff I, I see somebody at target with all of this red and walmart just preparing and nesting but i feel like also too some of you guys could just have a very childlike energy in this relationship where it's just like this could be puppy love but also like you know um 
you guys are seeing each other and just giving to each other a lot. I feel like there's so much love here. It's kind of overwhelming. Like <laughs> somebody kind of gets tongue tied. Oh, see, they get, they get tongue tied, child. They get tongue tied. They don't know what to say. I feel like somebody feels flustered or like real giddy when they see their person. This person is already thinking about the whole shebang, child. They want kids. They want the white picket fence. They want the car. They want the little minivan with the little uh TVs on the back of the seat. That's like their go-to. It's just like... <clears throat> There's an energy that when you guys come around each other, you just kind of forget about everything else and you just go straight to like planning for the future. This is how much you love this person. I feel like uh, to this could also be with a parent relationship for some of you, Gemini. I feel like some of you guys are um, maybe starting over your relationship with your parent or you're like rekindling a relationship with your parent. Maybe someone that... Um, you know, you took a little bit of distance from them for whatever reason. It could be personal or it could just been circumstantial. But I feel like there's also like a reconciliation type of energy here, Gemini, for you and someone that's very close to you. It could be a parent or, you know, maybe an old relationship coming back around here. I feel like something is getting a brand new fresh start. Or someone is just ready to move on from like the past, regardless, you know, with the Queen of Cups. Look at all of these cups. Now, Gemini, you know you're going to stop. This is so cute. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus or a water sign here. Someone rising or Venus. I feel like somebody has a lot of love to give. And this is like healing like your mother wounds. This is healing uh, your femininity here. Even if you are a man, even if you are a masculine energy, I feel like you are getting your feminine energy uh, restored or just it's, it's being nurtured or healed is what I'm hearing. So if you had it, if you had like a rough childhood with your mother or your mother was just not present, I feel like whoever you're dealing with now or whoever is coming in for you now, Gemini, like they do it. They do the most. Like they do the cooking, they do the cleaning, they do the 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 rubbing, the back rubbing, they do the baths, like they do the words of affirmations, they do your hair, they don't mind sitting down and giving you some cornrows or greasing your scalp. Like this person is very nurturing. Or they just um give you a sense of oh, okay. They give you a sense of like um healing a sense of healing so we have the tower card in reverse this is so funny it's not funny but like y'all immediately when i was about to pull the next card i just got like real flustered <laughs> like i just feel real like overwhelmed but anxious so i feel like this might be a little bit scary for you gemini or whoever you're dealing with i feel like somebody could be like afraid to really um give their all in this relationship or get really invested as they would like to because this is new for them these emotions are very strong and i feel like somebody is afraid that the rug is going to get snatched from up under their feet or that you know this is too good to be true i hear somebody saying like you're way too good to me or you're way too good for me you know it's like maybe this person, somebody could even be doubting their abilities to be a good parent or like they wonder what type of parent they will be. Somebody could be like really stressed out and anxious now that they're pregnant about how they will be as a mother or a father. Um, I do feel like there's a sense of anxiety here because things are going too well. OK, so somebody also could be used to like a dysfunctional or toxic background or relationships to where every time that things were going really good something bad happened so i feel like at times your partner might get a little bit uh skittish or at times they might get a little bit um unpredictable but this is not them trying to like trick you okay somebody could also be um suffering from bipolar disorder or insomnia and this kind of throws them off like mentally or emotionally at times maybe you get like a Jekyll and Hyde type of energy, but it's not like malicious. This could just be coming from a place of like healing that needs to be done. Somebody needs to do like a uh, heart chakra meditations or something. Yeah, to clear their mind because we have the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords popping out together back to back. It's like somebody has clarity, but then at the same time, they're still worried. 
Um, so somebody could need a lot of reassurance here or they could need to know a lot that you are still in this with them. It's like this person has so much love to give. It's almost scary. This this like is an energy of it feels so good that it fucking hurts because that's how I feel right now reading. I feel like I'm real hype. I'm excited. Like I'm overwhelmed. I'm just ready to get into it. And then like in the next flash of a moment i just kind of feel like i'm biting my nails i'm kind of like all over the place somebody could have adhd as well but i just feel like you know somebody is really nervous to kind of like um really say what it is they're nervous to say that they are in love or that you know they want this forever i feel like somebody is thinking about proposing i didn't even realize that there's two aces on top of each other we have the ace of cups and the ace of swords right on top of each other i feel like i was so busy trying to like put my my words into actions or my actions into words that I didn't realize that this is really like a brand new beginning for real I feel like somebody is getting a whole new perspective on like mind and heart they're learning too how to balance their mind and their heart yeah because this feels like somebody is definitely kind of healing their vulnerability or their emotions here we have the queen of cups and the nine of swords it's like somebody is so scared to open up and show somebody the real them or, you know, let somebody see who they really are. I'm, I'm hearing that SZA song. Um, is that called Gravity? Where she said, um, need you for my sanity. Need you to remind me where I come from. Can you remind me of my gravity? Ground me when I'm tumbling, spiraling, plummeting down to earth. You keep me down to earth. And then it was like, um, you know, I hope you never find out who I really am. Because if you find out who I am, you'll never love me. Oh, Gemini, I don't know whose energy, if, if this is you or your person. But it's just like there's a fear here of being too vulnerable. Because, you know, somebody might take advantage of that. Or they might step all over you if they know how sweet you are. Or how loving and nurturing you could be. Oh, Gemini, I want to cry right now. What's the overall energy here? And it's interesting, too, because um, I'm going to read that card that I put to the side. Um, what's the overall energy for Gemini? Whew, child, you guys got me in my bag. Child, real. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like somebody really just, I feel like their self-esteem um, is being worked on right now. And this is through no fault of their own. I feel like naturally they are a very confident person when it comes to anything else. But when it comes to love... I don't know. It just makes them feel like I don't deserve this or, you know, it's only a matter of time before they see that I am not worthy or that I am not perfect. And but that's why I'm saying this person doesn't give a hell. They don't give a fuck about you being perfect or you doing everything right or you making mistakes. They know that you are human. I feel like they accept you. They see you as the queen of cups. I feel like they see you as the Queen of Cups and whoever is in this energy sees themselves as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Or maybe somebody could be worried about not having enough money or not having enough stability of some sort. This person do not care. I feel like, you know, as long as they see that you're trying or that, you know, you're doing your best or that you are communicating what is going on on the inside to them. I feel like somebody too could be afraid to tell somebody what is their mental diagno diagnosis because they don't. They, they're scared to tell this person, um, you know, if they have any health issues because they don't want them to see them as less than or unstable. This could also be energy, too, where someone met someone online and maybe like they really have a disability and they're scared to like show up in person because they're not sure if this person is still going to love them the same. But I put this, even though I pulled this for every goddamn body, I put this to the side for you, Gemini. I don't know why. So let's go back and reread this because this might actually be what you need to hear. So a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light and I love you. So, you know, I just feel like somebody has to kind of embrace, you know, themselves for who they are and be okay with, like, let's just say, even if, even though this is not the energy I'm getting here, but even if you tell somebody your truth and you open up to them and you show them who you really are, Gemini, I feel like if they don't accept you, then they don't need to be with you anyway. And I know that's easier said than done. Baby, believe me, I know it hurts to, like, be vulnerable with somebody and open up to somebody and give them so much to have them reject you. 
Um, that is not something that you can just kind of like be like, okay, well, they didn't deserve me. You know, sometimes that shit really does hurt. But um, I feel like, you know, some of you are hurting either way. And that's the thing. It's like you kind of have to choose. Um, and I'm speaking to a specific group of you guys right now. You have to kind of choose whether you want to live in like this bubble of trying to be be perfect all the time or show up as something that you're not. Or if you want your person to just see you for you and either love you unconditionally for it, which I do see that there is that potential, or constantly be wondering about how they're going to think if you if you be honest with them. Somebody needs to rip the band-aid off and tell somebody the truth about either how they feel or about who they are or about what is going on on the inside or what is, you know, their family history or the family health history or something like that but there could be like a secret or just like a traumatic experience or something surrounding health or maybe just an insecurity that someone needs to open up and share with their partner i feel like they're going to be here for you regardless especially if you are dealing with a virgo or a pisces i'm trying to tell you don't get me wrong scorpio and taurus is here on the board too but if you are dealing with a pisces or a virgo someone rising or venus they don't care. They do not care. What's the advice here? Let me hurry up because the king of wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody just needs to kind of like come out and be authentic, be themselves, be the be a leader. Um, don't worry so much about um which which you could lose or how things could go. I feel like somebody is thinking about the worst case scenario here. We have the ten of pentacles coming out last. Hello, I feel like somebody is going to want their family over anything. All right, Gemini, so you guys just made my whole entire day. I guess I feel like everybody else's reading was kind of like, okay, but I love you guys so much and have a great day, Gemini. Bye.